Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we are making chicken congee. It is a rice porridge. Cantonese people also call it chop. Making chop is super easy, but if you want to make it perfect, there are tricks here and there. Let me share my secret with you. Start by bringing up eight cups of water to a boil. Although your chop is only as good as your stock, you can use water. When I was little, my family weren't fancy. We use water all the time, so nothing is wrong with that. I've got here two and a half cup of cooked jasmine rice, which is my preferred rice to make congee. This is a great recipe for you to use all your leftover rice. If you don't have cooked rice, you can use a third cup of uncooked rice. But it will take at least 30 minutes to simmer, and you will have to adjust the water amount based on the evaporation. Now the chicken stock is nice and bubbling. Add the rice, which will drop down the temperature. When it comes back to a boil, give it a few stirs to loosen up any possible grains that are sticking at the bottom. After that, don't stir it too much because it will create lots of starch, which causes the rice stick to the bottom. Switch the heat to medium low. Let it simmer for 10 minutes. Here is another trick. I like to place a pair of chopsticks on the pot and put the lid on top of it. Congee is one of those soups that would definitely overflow if the lid is on. Using the chopsticks to lift up the lid solves the problem perfectly. While waiting, we can move on to the chicken. Slice it thinly. The chicken will be cooked in the rice soup. I know a lot of people are not a fan of boiled chicken breast because it won't create as much Maillard reaction compared to deep fried or stir fried methods. Therefore, the marinade is very important. One teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, one egg white, two tablespoons of cornstarch, half teaspoon of garlic powder. Then you just mix this for five minutes straight up. Using cornstarch and egg white in the marinade is a technique called velveting in Chinese cuisine. It preserves the moisture of the meat, preventing the fibers from seething up, and it gives you a juicy, tender texture that literally melts in your mouth. This marinade can also be applied to beef and pork. Give it a try and you'll be surprised. Did I mention that the Chinese name of this dish is called Xianggu Hua Ji Zhou? The word Hua means smooth, which specifically refers to this velvety texture. Without that, the zhou is never perfect. Set the chicken aside. Now we are going to slice up some mushrooms. These are shiitake, but any mushroom will work. Roughly cut up two baby bok choy. You can use other vegetables such as spinach, cabbage, and broccoli meat. Quickly julienne one inch of ginger thinly. Ginger is very important here. It gives the jo a warm feeling and makes it so comfortable. If you don't like to actually bite into the ginger, you can grate it finely so it's not too strong for you. Last, dice some scallions and let's check out the rice soup. It has been simmering for 10 minutes now. Add the mushroom slices and the ginger shreds. Season it with some salt and sugar to taste. You could do soy sauce, but it will make the joke color off white. Take a whisk and stir this for a few minutes to mingle everything together, as well as break up the grains. The more you stir, the creamier your joke will come out. This really depends on your preference. Some people like it super creamy, so they stir it for longer. I don't. 
I prefer it to be slightly coarse. That's why I only did it for three minutes. I think my joke is a little bit too thick, so I added one and a half cup of chicken stock, which I have brought it to a boil in a separate stove. Depending on the evaporation, you may or may not need it. Here is the chicken that we marinated. Stir it into the rice soup. Make sure they don't stick together. As soon as the chicken changes color, turn off the stove. Throw in the baby bok choy. Give it a quick mix and let the rest of the heat to cook the chicken through. This way, the meat would come out perfectly tender. Before serving, add some white pepper to taste. Drizzle in one tablespoon of sesame oil. Mix well, and we are done. You can serve this with deep fried donut stick. Or pickled vegetables. I am going with fermented tofu today, which is a classic. I am so hungry. Have been waiting for this. Despite the simple ingredients, the combination is incredible. So flavorful and savory. The soup is nice and creamy with the tender, soft chicken. Everything together, it's just so comfortable. I grew up with Joe. Besides chicken congee, sometimes we will use ground pork, fish, and century eggs. There are many variations. Leave a comment below. I would love to know have you had congee before and what's your favorite congee recipe. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. That really encourages me to continue to make more delicious recipes. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Soup Top Recipes Clay Pot. It may sound new to you, but clay pot is a traditional cookware in Chinese cuisine. It has a high heat capacity. The material retains the heat, then redistributes it to the food slowly and evenly. The heavy duty wall allows for better browning. Then you can maintain low and slow heat on the stove top or in the oven. I love the blue top and the hammer design. It functions as a beautiful serving piece that keeps the food warm on the table. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Go check it out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.